Welcome back to One Sixth RC Tank Workshop. We're now at part 10 in the series of videos on working on the early Armatec Tiger 1. In this video I'll be working on the front end of the Tiger. I'll be working on the front mud guards, also track hangers for the front of the hull. My aim with the front mud guards is to try to make them more like the original Tiger in the way they fit to the hull. Also to add the retainers that hold the mud guards in place while travelling. A nice clean tip. I'll brush some flux on. I'm just thinning the brass angle with solder. I clean the brass first. I'm using a fairly big tip. I polish the surface to be soldered with this very fine sanding block. getting a bead of solder around the edge. This is where I'll be attaching the angle. To join the to join the angle onto the main body of the mud guard, I've clamped everything in place. Solder on both sides, some flux now I'm going to apply some heat. And now we have a nice clean secure join. Next, I just mark out a line for my rivets. Just get the location even. I'm now just plotting out the locations of the rivets. I'm drilling 1.2 millimeter holes to take the rivets. That's all the holes drilled now to take the rivets. For riveting, I'm using 364 inch rivets. You could probably use one thirty second, but they'd be very fine. The one point two millimeter hole is a nice push fit. 
the push fit securely into it. Next, should have a daintier pliers, but watch your eyes for the spark. I wear glasses, so I'm okay. In the top of this old vise, I've drilled out a couple of holes with a ball headed milling attachment for different sizes of rivets. So I just place the rivet over the hole. A couple of light taps, doesn't take much. And the rivets are secure. So here we have the components we've made so far. The mudguard sides, everything soldered and riveted, and the main section of mudguard. Next will be to make up and fit some hinges. And now you can see I've got my hinges cut to size, brass hinges. I'll drill out the screw holes and match them in the brass sheet. I've cut all my hinges to size, drilled them appropriately, carefully measuring against the mudguard panels. I've marked out the position for the screws and fitted them. And they hinge nicely. Next I'll make up the slider bar. I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody who subscribed so far. If you're enjoying the videos, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe and share the videos. Subscriptions have been a bit slow lately, so any new subscriptions are appreciated. It's the only way the channel is going to grow. It'll cost nothing to subscribe, but subscriptions are what keep the channel going. Subscriptions, likes, comments, all goes towards the YouTube algorithm promoting the channel. If you have any comments, I will try to reply to all comments. If you have any suggestions for the channel, please make a comment. If there's something you don't like in the videos, please leave a comment. Don't just hit that dislike button. So here's the complete mud guards. I fitted the sliders, hinges are secured. I've also made these new fittings which are more like the real thing rather than the Armatech style. I'll use epoxy to fix these into the holes on the hull. These are the holes that take the Armatech fittings. I have found that the, the depth on some of them wasn't equal. So the mud guards may need a bit of shimming. Oh, and epoxy in place. That's how they look. So they will hinge up and down. Also, the sliders can open so that they can be placed in the rail car position. Here you can see the underside of the mud guards. It's brass angle. And this is where the hinges are connected. The hinges are screwed in place and there's rivets attached here. The screws for the hinges are 10BA, 10BA countersunk slot heads. Here you can see both mud guards fitted in place, not permanently fitted yet, I'll paint them first. Here we have one of my other tigers for which I made my own mud guards, but I used the attachment fittings 
from the Armatec kit. So you have this like a U shape, which is bolted into the hull. And then this section here, which comes at the end of the mudguard, just wraps around the pin. That isn't how the real Tiger mudguards were fitted. You can see in my revised mudguards that these are much more like the real Tiger fittings. There's a central pin coming from the, the hull and then brackets, two-sided brackets which go either side of that and they're held in place with a pin or in this case a small screw. This is much closer to the real Tiger mudguard. I've also added the small retainer clips which hold the mudguards in place while traveling. They should be sprung but I haven't been able to find a spring small enough to fit inside so at the moment they're just static. But they do toggle around just like the regular ones. So maybe a bit more work on these. I haven't painted them yet because I've ran out of Dunkle Gal paint. I've also made a spare track hanger for the front. It's just a simple piece of aluminium angle mounted on some aluminium blocks. The track hangers were generally a field edition. They didn't they weren't like this from the factory. So there's various different versions of track hangers. This is just a very simple one. I noticed that the track hangers on Tiger 131 were a piece of angle. So I've done something similar with this one. A lot of the vehicles didn't actually use track hangers. They didn't have track on the front of the hull. Early photographs of the tank I'm considering painting didn't have a track hanger, but who knows, maybe later on they fitted one. Here's a closer shot of the track hanger. I like to have the, I like to fit the track hanger as it's a convenient way to carry spares. In the event that I break a piece of track while driving. And now to the whole MG. I've added these retainers. This would hold the cover for the ball mount for deep water wading. They've got wing nuts. So again, thanks everybody for watching today. Don't forget to support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. And again, thanks everybody for leaving comments. I'll put up a couple of other videos at the end and some photos.